Hi, I'm Greg Palumbo, Exhibits Manager here at Atavigi Museum. And today I'd like to show you some treasures from our vault. Today I have this sash. It's made of wool and thread and beads. This, bat, this sash was said to have been owned by Osceola himself. The threads are blue with black thread throughout in a hash pattern, accentuating these beads shown throughout. They came to the United States in Hank, on strands called hanks of beads. These were long strands of single colored beads on a single thread. The beads would then be woven into whatever piece they were being put into uh, on those threads, often because the needles that were available were too small to fit through the beads. Therefore, they'd be left onto the, bead, onto the strands and set into whatever they were going to be on. These beads sometimes suffered from what's called glass bead disease. None of the beads on this sash have exhibited those characteristics. The way that they would make the beads, they would add things like seaweed and for coloring and things like that, that had a lot of salt into the mix. The salts over time leach out of those beads, making them very fragile to where they break, or the salts settle on the surface, discoloring the beads and creating a crust. White beads, however, like these beads here, have a lot more calcium. The calcium was added so that they would have the nice bright white color like your teeth or your bones. Uh, the calcification inside the beads created a very stable, very solid bead. So a lot of the white beads survive much better today than colored beads of the time. This sash was said to be worn by Osceola himself. Uh, because of that, it was very important for the tribe to try and get this piece. For many years, it was at the Florida, Florida Museum of Natural History on display and owned by the Roberts family. A few years back, the Roberts family decided to take that piece off of loan and put it up on an open auction. At that time, the tribe was able to bid on and procure this piece for the museum. Just this year, the uh, Florida Museum of Natural History up in Gainesville was doing their regular inventory and came across these, a few of the drops that you see on the ends here that have fallen off of, the, off of the piece over the years. Those drops were taken then and put into collection storage individually so that while it was on display they would be protected. Uh, in finding those they thought these should really be with the piece and those returned to the museum just this last couple of months. So we're very happy to be partnered with the Natural History Museum and be able to have that kind of a relationship that they would want to bring those back to the tribe. Artifacts like this lived through a very tumultuous time for the tribe and saw the wars that led to what is today the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Check us out on our website at atatiki.com. You can friend us on Facebook, take a look at our blog, and get a little deeper into the treasures of the vault.